recent study from our partners at Climate Central is showing how severe weather and tornado trends are changing across the country. So we're joining meteorologist Elise mm -hmm. Smith in the Weather Center. She's going to explain more about how this is impacting millions of people across the country, but not just across the country, us right here in Southeast Texas. Right. Good evening. It's been a well-known conversation in the weather community that Tornado Alley is not necessarily Tornado Alley anymore. And our partners at Climate Central put together this report, including this map. They show how the traditional area known as Tornado Alley is shifting east. And it's that includes uh, a potential increase in tornado days across states like Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama, instead of that infamous well-known tornado alley area of the Panhandle, Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas. Now, as for Southeast Texas, we know we could have severe weather any given day of the year if the conditions are right. And as Dr. Harold Brooks told me today, it's because here in Houston, year round, we have access to what is usually a key missing ingredient for severe weather. And if you live on the Gulf Coast, you know, the, the, the moist air source, the Gulf of Mexico is right there on top of you. Uh, you don't have to you know, wait more than a few hours to get the to get the moisture on shore if the winds start blowing from from off of the Gulf. So the winter time, we've seen the increase in that, and that's related probably to the to the warming of the Gulf of Mexico, as well as a, a subtle change in the patterns that we in, in the atmosphere. And there is an important correlation when it comes to wintertime severe storms, a season that has seen an uptick in severe weather activity, especially across the Gulf Coast. And Dr. Brooks also mentioned that while the number of days with tornadoes has decreased annually, the number of tornadoes per year has remained the same. That makes potential severe weather outbreaks even more dangerous, as we know. And I'm joined by Travis now. Now, I'm, I remember when I was a meteorology student, and it seemed like there was a very kind of traditional way of teaching about tornado climatology. In April, you typically see the most violent tornadoes. Mm -hmm. In May, you typically see the most tornadoes in general. In June, it's the most days with tornadoes. It seems like now, in, in a way, it's kind of undirectly correlated to climate change, but it just seems like the rule books have just gone out the window. It has shifted, but the important thing, as you noted for us, is it can happen any given really day of can. the year if the right ingredients are in place. And what's fascinating about our local tornado climatology is our peak is around November. Right. It's not during the spring months. We get a big uptick, but it's November and it's in the cold season, the cold months, when we have our largest, longest-lived tornadoes like the one that happened a little over a year ago in Pasadena. Pasadena. Great yep. report there, Elise. Okay.